Welcome back to MC Eternal. Revan here. Today, we're going to pick up where we left off in the last episode. We're going to continue on with Ender IO, working on uh, getting to our sag mill and our alloy smelter. We're going to beef up our farm a little bit and look into some mob slaughtering automation. So sit back, enjoy the video, and let's see what we can't get done. Okay, so the reason we need the sag mill is specifically for the organic green dye. And in order to get that, you need clippings and trimmings, which you get from various plants. I, I believe the best is clipped grass. So that's usually what I go for. So if I still have, I don't have shears on me. Let me grab a couple shears. just so that we can go out and collect a bunch. Is it about to be nighttime? No. So we'll just collect a bunch of grass here. And then we will toss this in our sag mill as soon as we make it. And this should give us what we need to be able to upgrade to the normal sag mill. And then we don't have to worry about power loss. We can just keep it hooked up and we won't have to worry about running through our fuel because as of it is right now I don't actually have the coal auto pumping from the farm into the base uh, and I, and I want to be able to do that eventually but I'm not going to do it until the machines I have are stable enough for it so what are we looking at here we're almost at a stack we don't need that much there we go let's just run up we'll make our segment real quick Bouncy bounce. You can come off. Like I said, I don't want you running unless you absolutely need to. Now, sag mill. Add this to the list. Ooh, we're also going to need dark bimetal gear, which... Dark steel we get from let's see, alloy smelter, iron, coal, and obsidian. So we are going to have to go collect some obsidian as well. But let's make the dyes first. At least that way we can get the alloy smelter upgraded here. So we needed quartz, lapis, and crushed charcoal and slime. We still need a couple gears. One. There was an easier way. There it is. We'll toss this up and it can start on the clippings and trimmings. I believe I do have some crushed coal already. Yes, I got 88 crushed coal. Simple sag mill, regular sag mill, dark steel, obsidian. So we're going to need a, another pickaxe. I really do need to work on getting a better pickaxe here. We'll just take that. And do we have... Need to grab a bucket here. Bucket, bucket. Take you, and we can toss you guys back. We don't need you right now. Don't need the fused quartz right now, or the crop sticks, or the fertilized essence. My inventory is becoming a mess here. Well, we can turn, toss the alloy smelter in there for now. And we toss you up there. Yes, so we do have a decent amount of the clippings and trimmings. We got our baguettes.
now that we have the obsidian, we can work towards the dark steel, which is dark steel in the alloy smelter is going to be coal, obsidian, and iron. So let's just start off by making 12 coal. So I completed the sag mill and the alloy furnace up to just its normal tier and have uh, some basic capacitors in it, but so they're not the fastest thing in the world, but at least I'm not leaking power. And then I also created a Sterling generator, which I just have here right now powering my batteries. However, once I get a chance, I'm going to move it outside. The next thing I need to work on is I need pink slime. So. I'm looking for a way to automate ores and the options we have are the digital miner, but that requires getting into mechanism, which is pretty power hungry. Uh, it also requires me going to the beneath to get osmium. The other thing that we have is the laser, which is not the fastest thing in the world, but from what I remember, it doesn't, it's not horrible on power. Um, but in order to make the laser drill, I need a white laser lens and I need pink slime. So in order to get pink slime, I need to make a mob spawner. And with the world, the way that it is and everything that spawns, um, I think one of my only options is going to be to go look for wither skeletons so that I can get a little bit of cursed earth, uh, specifically a drop of evil that should be in the pack, right? Yes, drop of evil. So I can apparently get these out of loot boxes, which I haven't really found any bosses yet, but yeah. So I, ha I don't have any of those, right? No. All right. So, so really looking forward to this, <laughs> but let's make ourselves a, a quick little nether portal gonna make it outside just so that I don't have to worry about any nasties coming through my actual house all right so we got dirt I did not mine up too much obsidian so I am being a little bit uh, a little bit generous with it here all right make sure we have some torches essentially just to mark the direction that we came from and where we've been also light that up yep that's exactly where I wanted the fire to go all right all right save me Jeebus okay so from what else I've seen the if it loads the zombie pigmen are going to be angry right off the bat and of course we had to start in soul set what is this we had to start in soul sand. Um, it's harvestable. I don't know what it is. Whoa, sweet Jesus. What? Okay, so. Bad? <laughs> that was interesting. Let's not ever do that again. Pretty sure. Yep, it blew up a brand new diamond pickaxe. So we only have our flux bore. Oh boy. So other things that I want to get while I'm here, uh, we can pick up some cobalt. Oh, I can't harvest that because I don't have this pickaxe. All right, well, let's go home real quick. We'll make another diamond pickaxe and we'll forget like that ever happened. Also, let's switch this to cobblestone just so that I have a good build. Now give me pickaxe diamonds. There we go. And let's see if we can not blow up our pickaxe this time. So whatever ore that was starts with the T, ends at a boom. Uh, we got to make sure that we don't we don't try to mine that anymore. 
So we got some glowstone over here. I don't remember what exactly I needed the glowstone for, but another gold deposit. What do we got here? Cobalt. I do need to get into Tinker's Construct as well. Really, I can't mine cobalt with a... Oh, it's right. It's obsidian. Oh. He's not... Not... Not a fan. Alright. I probably should take this off. Use that. Right click to toggle on. Alright, well let's just put this in our backpack. Hopefully it doesn't doesn't work while it's in in there. Hey! You jerks! And of course I don't have here's my wand. These guys will drop blaze. If I can hit him. What? Oh, it's a pig man. I'm just getting. Okay, so nether. Not a fun place. Not a fun place. And there's a creeper trying to. Oh. <sighs> this is going to be fun. And I was told another is such a, a fun and caring location to go to. Alright, so we don't have our boots on us. We need to remember that. Ow. Why is there wool? <laughs> Let's try to take this creep for out at a distance. Same with these guys. They're not very strong, but they do come straight at you. And the zombie pigment always being angry is, uh, of course. Oh, there's two of them. Three of them. So many bad creepers. All right, so he's dead. All right, there's a zombie pigman behind me. This is going well. This is going super well. We did get a blaze rod, though. Now we just need to kill Mr. Unfriendly over here. Oh, you running away from me? Yeah, run into that corner. Let me know how that works out for you. Fairly well, apparently. There we go. Alright, can I have a moment, please? Mostly just interested in glowstone and blaze rod. If I can find a fortress, I will accept it. Oh, where? Are... Okay, so first things first. Something happened with my settings here. Controls auto jump off. It is just evil to have that be the default. So we can get up in that direction, but it's all soul sand. Soul sand. Oh, the glowstone I wanted for... Really? Wow, they spawn fast. Thought I'd have a little bit of time here. Glowstone I want for the... Unlimited access to my simple storage. 
it's one of the crafting ingredients so let us just vein mine this real quick whoa how much where did all the bad stuff come from again all right so these creepers are are the devil just yeah use this to heal myself Where are you? I have a lava charm on, but I'm still taking fire damage. Can I heal, please? Don't need that. I know we got more than three. There we go. All right, bag of holding. Do not disappear on me again. Tongue of the dog. You, 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 that. Only three blaze rods. That's all we got from all of that. Seems a little bit cheap. Why? Where'd he even go? He went down here. Alright. Can I have a second to myself, please? No? Didn't, what are you? Oh. These guys are ruthless, and they just spawn left and right. All right. <laughs> I need more fuel for my belly. I was not expect. I, I heard that the uh, the nether was rough. I was not expecting it to be that brutal. Do we have any more food on us? We got some carrots. Which probably aren't going to do a whole heck of a lot here. All right, throw the blaze powder in there. For some reason, we got orange wool. Bag of holding. So we got a magic bag. Only three blaze rods. I am disappointed in that. Okay, simple storage. What I'm looking for is the remote. So the the regular remote. Let's see here. The advanced in the simple storage remote. Network without crafting unlimited distance. So unlimited distance. Which one is dimension? So the advanced one is across all dimensions. But in order for that, we need another star. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. The upgraded storage remote used to access the network from unlimited distance. I don't know if I have enough ender pearls. So let's see. What what are we missing from here? All right. So we're just missing the glowstone. So we can make this one if we make two glowstone, which we got enough glowstone dust. I said we got enough glowstone dust. Am I misreading? Oh, it's a magma block. <laughs> that would be why. Too bad I can't upgrade this. So I either make this one or I make this one. 
Uh, they're both not going to work in the nether, but they'll be, they'll come in handy when I'm traveling. Uh, this one will allow me to craft so I can make like an extra pickaxe or something. What does my, my health is bad, but let's grab, we haven't eaten a s'more yet. I wanted to save these, but. And we'll take the steak and chips. We can throw this back in there. We'll grab the rainbow curry. Recharge our wand of healing. That's all. That's all we're going to be using it on. We can almost, almost upgrade it, I think. And can we grab a sandwich? Yes, we can. Got a slingshot, although the slingshot in the nether, probably not a great idea. Let's try this again. We're on the lookout for a magma block. Okay. All right, well, <clears throat> I got my stuff back. <laughs> That's good news. Uh, other good news is not too far away from where I died. Uh, if you just take a straight shot through the lava, I came upon this nice little nether fortress. So we'll see how this, how this goes. I got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is we made it out of the nether mostly intact. The bad news is we didn't get a single drop of evil. So I think I'm going to call it an episode there. And next episode, we will check out the player shop to see if we can't purchase one. And then we'll continue on with uh, building up the mob farm. So I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care. Stay awesome, be awesome. Revin out.